Mike, in that final drive, you hit these in your timeouts. Were you leaning on your defense to try to make a play there? Well, I mean, I thought we could hold them to, to a field goal. I mean, I thought we would be able to stop them. Unfortunately, they, they made a couple plays, and, um, you know, we just see how the drive was going and then kind of got down underneath there and we said, well, we'll just we'll play it out. And uh, we were, you know, I don't think that our guys were panicking. Uh, we kind of knew what was going on. Unfortunately, we just gave up a, a play early in the drive. Mike, I don't know if you got a good look at the play, but Simmons obviously was the key there. Did you did you see of the play? And uh, you guys probably had a much better view than I did. Um, you know, give our guys credit. You know, give, give our staff credit. Um, you know, they tried to walk into one, and you know, our guys adjusted uh, quickly um, without uh, hesitation. Uh, very very well prepared for that, and they were able to execute. Obviously, the players are the ones that were able to get the you know the push and the, and the penetration, but. And we got down in there as he walked under center. Mike, what do you think about this, the, the resiliency of this team? Lost so many guys, had to battle from behind. I, I am, uh, I'm honored, I'm grateful, uh, thankful to be able to coach this this football team, and then say that I'm the head coach of a, of a group of guys that um, you know care a lot about each other, um, that are continuing to, to build and uh, trust and. and you know, communicate with each other, and, and, and it's unfortunate when guys go down. Um, but that's why we practice. That's why we have a team and a roster, and and guys, you know, step up and come in there and play. So, you know, it's unfortunate when you lose players. Um, but just a, just a credit to the players that went in there and, and the coaching staff to have them ready to go. You guys were down six nothing. Tannehill had just thrown an interception, and Henry exposed for that play. How much life did that breathe? It was, it was huge, and we continue to, to, to jump on Derek's back, and, and he's willing and, and able to carry us. Um, and, and it's just uh, it's something that, that you know that you have in your back pocket and uh, front pocket. We pull it out, and we use it, and you know, it, just, it just gave us a big shot of life there, and our defense gave them credit for, for holding some field goals there early, and you know, there's a lot of mistakes and a lot of things we can do better because uh, we're close. You know, there's there's some good there's glimpses of, of good football in there. How much did you, how much did you Mike? How how did you uh, or what can you say about some of the contributions of those guys that stepped up like a, like a Borders or Chris Jackson? Uh, say, yeah, you know, I mean, they went in there and competed, and you know, against an excellent football team. You know, everybody's uh, mid-season uh, number one power ranking uh, team. Uh, so we're, we're we're proud of that. AJ did a lot to kind of balance Derek out in the second half with the over. It was huge, yeah. I thought our efficiency throwing the football was much better. It came up with some big passes. Uh, I thought the line uh, played well. Uh, I thought there were some, some good pockets, especially on third down. Um, and and that's, a, that's an excellent football team. I mean, Sean is, is, you know, him and Brandon have an excellent football team. They've got some really good players. And um, it, was, it was a huge challenge. And, you know, obviously it came down to, to just a few critical plays. You may feel like between there were, you mentioned there were plays you didn't want to have back, but defensively you were very strong tonight. What were some of the things that were going Well, forward? we probably tackled better. I thought we did affect the quarterback at times. And again, uh, on third and long, we let him get out to the left. And, you know, I mean, I don't, Danico didn't do anything other than have a good rush. And, you know, Allen went deeper and further out to the right and, and completed a pass, unfortunately. Um, you know, the coverage wasn't, you know, you know, there was a mistake in coverage, unfortunately. But, you know, our guys understood the game plan. They battled. Uh, they kept it in front of them for the most part, uh, made them earn it. Uh, we had turnover opportunities. We tipped the ball that was intercepted. We tipped another ball that we had a chance to intercept. Um, you know, they really understood the game plan and what we were trying to get done. I know, AJ, and Julio. In and out of the lineup, how big has been able to he cares so much. He's so fun to coach. He wants to do right all the time. He wants to contribute. I saw him, you know, factoring on some rushes, affecting the quarterback, being close. Um, I thought it was, you know, a good play to, you know, had a great rush, forced to throw it. Somebody tipped, and he didn't, you know, didn't uh, rough the quarterback. Um, so I saw him in there. I saw a lot of guys in there with, playing with great effort and you know, doing everything to help us win. I know AJ and Julio started out playing a lot together. Did you ultimately kind of feel like if you had one of them out there, at least that you were, were kind confident of confident in everybody uh, on this team? You know, Nick Westbrook made some huge catches. Um, you know, so whatever we have to do to to put make sure we got eleven guys in there that know what to do, uh, that's what we're going to do. And that's that's not a slight to to Julio or AJ. Uh, 
that's just a, you know, a reminder that we, we have to play with 11 and, and they have to know what to do and they have to be willing to go out there and, and make some plays for us. And those guys did make plays for us and then the guys that also played, uh, you know, helped us as well. It was kind of crazy to see, but uh, Randy engaging the, the blocker and drawing the holding penalty that voided the touchdown. Yeah, you about that? Back too, so hopefully they would call that one too. But, you know, Randy's been good for us. We, we don't need him to make tackles and we need him to make kicks and, um, you know, so. And he, Mike, you talked about the, you know, the resiliency of, of this team. Where do you think that, that comes from or how do you think that was I mean, I, I just, you know, we try to, to build a culture based on winning, competitiveness, uh, not being entitled, you know, trying to, to, to get everything that you earn, you know, make, make everybody uh, earn, earn what they get, hold them accountable no matter who it is. And I think they appreciate that. Uh, we, we try to be honest with them. We try to be direct. Uh, we ask them not to be front runners, and I think that they've embraced that. You got to get the middle of the field on that, going. on that play action, middle of the field. It was something you guys attacked a lot. Coming into this game, was that something that you know you you felt was going to be open, or was the deck just kind of? Well, I mean, you know, when, when Derek's running the football, you know, I mean, we're able to run the football, we're able to continue and extend drives. You know, that opens up the middle of the football field, and. Um, you know, that's something we have to be very proficient at, and we have to continue to use that as a weapon. Mike, you point to the game, Mike, and say this is how good we can be, you know, be one of the best teams in the league, despite having so many guys out, and how much you hope the guys will rally behind there. Well, we feel like we can beat anybody in the league, and I mean, whether you do or not, but that's the mentality that we take. Uh, these, these games, you know, you put a lot into them. Uh, they take a lot out of you, as you guys can see, um, with, with some of the players that, that were injured. But we'll regroup and we'll find out where we're at and we'll get ready to, to, to take on another excellent um, you know, opponent next week. So it, that's just you know, that's just what it is. I Second week, we'll two more. And and ben ben Jones Jones outside. Outside. I know you don't want to talk about injury, but the scary scene, I guess, with Taylor going on. With the, it looks like he's going to be okay just dealing with... Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of emotions involved and obviously um, you know, we, we understand what the risks are. Um, playing this sport, uh, Taylor plays... You know, very hard, um, a lot of effort and finish, and you know. So I, I hope he'll be okay. And I was able to see him you know, at halftime. Second week in a row, did you guys kind of had... bring you forward as far as this? We'll this see. Problem. You know, I mean, tonight we're we're as, we're as high as we can be right now, Teron. So whatever that spring is, but we're going to have to come back down to earth real quick and get ready for for the Kansas City Chiefs and what they offer, uh, and find a way to win. You know, find a way to prepare to win and. Um, get healthy and find out who's available. So, you know, we're, we're, we're going to enjoy this uh, like we do uh, in 24 hours or less than that. You know, we'll have to be moving on real quickly.